This is a video to demonstrate the multi-timbral operation of contact within Ableton Live. So we've got contact loaded up and there are four instruments loaded, each on its own MIDI channel. So you can see here MIDI channel 1 on the first instrument, MIDI channel 2 on the second, MIDI channel 3 on the third, and MIDI channel 4 on the fourth. At the moment we've got the instrument track here and I'll play the piano. So that's on MIDI channel 1. What we want to do is have the ability to build up a sequence with those four instruments in contact. So what we do, I'll show you, is we create additional MIDI tracks. So you say here, insert MIDI track. Let's do one more after this and we'll have enough. So you can see here we've got the additional tracks here. Now the contact track that we have at the beginning is on MIDI channel 1. We need to set these up. So you can see here this is the way it works, that you choose contact on the MIDI 2 and then you choose the channel underneath so if the first one is MIDI channel 1 this is going to be MIDI channel 2 this will be MIDI channel 3 this will be MIDI channel 4 let's move over to one of these and play so this should be the organ if we come to the next channel we should be looking at the synth And then we should have the drum kit. We're seeing the audio coming out over here on contact because we haven't got any additional audio channels. But if we wanted to, we could set these up as well. So inside contact, you'd have to deal with the routing. I mean, on this instance at the moment, there's only one stereo. So that's a separate story. So for the multi-timbral operation, that's just a short video there so you can see how it works.